This is a complete step-by-step -step YouTube automation tutorial where I will show you exactly how we grow and scale YouTube automation channels beyond $10,000 a month without showing face and without recording anything with a camera. And we will cover everything from the basics of YouTube automation in case you're just starting out, but we will also be talking about some more advanced stuff if you're already familiar with YouTube automation so that you can learn how to actually scale beyond $10,000 a month. And in case you don't know who I am, my name is Dave Nick. And here are just a few of the channels that I run. So here's one of the channels that is now, I believe, doing about $9,000 a month uh, just from ad revenue alone. It's doing about three to $400 a day from ad revenue. Uh, this channel over here is doing about $10,000 a month, which is about $300 to $400 a day from ad revenue. Uh, this one in the last 365 days did $15,000, but it's doing about $400 a month. Again, also just from ad revenue, in, even though we're not that concerned consistent on this channel over here. Uh, this channel is doing about $11,000 per month, also just from ad revenue alone. And remember that ad revenue is just one of the ways that you can monetize these videos. We will be talking about four different ways to make money from your channels. I consider this ad revenue to just be a bonus that they get at the end of the month. Uh, this channel is doing slightly less than usual, actually a lot less than usual. We do about nine to $10,000 a month in this one, but this month it was $3.9 thousand dollars uh, in revenue, but the last 365 days was $285,000 uh, from ad revenue on this one. Uh, this channel did about $7.9 thousand dollars in the last 28 days, which is not even a full month. Uh, this channel over here does about $200 a month, about $10-$15 a day from ad revenue. Uh, the last 365 days was $10,000, again also just from my revenue on this channel. Uh, this one is doing $2.7 thousand dollars a month, which is about a hundred dollars uh, per day from ad revenue. The last 365 days was seventy-three thousand dollars. Again, also just from ad revenue. This one is doing about nine thousand dollars a month uh, from ad revenue. And those are just a few of the channels that I run. Where once again, I'm not showing my face and not recording anything with a camera. Yet, as you can see, some of these channels are making tens of thousands of dollars a month just from one revenue source that is ad revenue. And I want to be 100% honest with you. You're not going to make $100 million doing faceless YouTube automation, but what you're also not going to do is you're not going to waste time if you really want to get to $10,000 a month online from anywhere in the world, because this is the only online business that doesn't require you to have any clients, to have inventory and sell products and sell different services to a hundred different people in order to break even. And it's the only business where you don't need a website, you don't need to waste money on paid ads and it's the fastest way to actually go from zero to ten thousand dollars a month it's the exact same business that i used back when i was 18 to go from zero to ten thousand dollars a month and far beyond that as you saw and it's quite frankly the same business that i thought there were five thousand people who are doing thousands of dollars a month without ever showing their face including my mom so everything i will share today with you is coming from my personal experience so let's begin with what is actually youtube automation well in a nutshell YouTube automation is all about taking the business approach to YouTube. Instead of you recording videos and being the face of the show, you create faceless content that earns revenue from ads, sponsorships, and digital products. And as I said earlier, you do not need to be in front of the camera and record videos like I'm doing right now. You don't need to edit any of your videos or actually be involved at all in the creation process of the content that you will be monetized. So instead, you're just a business person behind the channel and all you need to do is get a team of content creators who will create the content for you or in the beginning just outsource the entire production you would then take those videos upload them to youtube and get paid by the end of the month by youtube for the views that the video generated you see each youtube video consists of a idea script video edit voiceover and a thumbnail and there will be two options you can either get these done by yourself and with the help of some ai or you can entirely outsource the production part and just focus on the business side and that's why we call it youtube automation because you don't need to be involved in the creation process. Instead, you use systems, processes, and people to do all the hard work for you while you're still the 
on getting paid at the end of the day. Each video you make can continue to make money long after you publish it. For example, this video that I posted two years ago is still making thousands of dollars to this day, and I have hundreds of those. Compared to other platforms like TikTok or Instagram, which will pretty much kill your video after 24 or 48 hours, a video is never dead on YouTube. Now, not every video will earn the same, but one is enough to make this business very lucrative. And because you are not the one recording these videos, you can have as many channels as you want. So all in all, YouTube automation is a great business model as it doesn't require massive investments. You can do it from anywhere in the world. It gives you time and location freedom. You don't have to deal with clients. And once you decide you don't even want to run your channel anymore, you can always sell it for high multiplier. And the profit margins in this business can be insane. For example, this channel that I started just four months ago, I started spending about $500 a month to produce all the content. And the first month, it made only $1.2,000, but the next month, it's already at almost $10,000 just from ad revenue. But again, I wanna be 100% honest, it's not so easy. It's a simple process, but it requires a lot of hard work. You need to know a lot of things, and 99% of the people are doing it completely wrong. You can't just spread the one magic button in some AI software that generates videos and then expect to make money from that. It's a bit harder than that. So let's talk about the step-by-step -step process on how to actually do this correctly so that you don't end up wasting time and money in this business. Now, because there's so much misconception online around how YouTube automation even works, I would like to share with you some of the most common bad YouTube automation channel examples and some good ones so you don't waste your money and time. So first of all, a good YouTube automation channel channel, has unique content, provides value to the viewer, is branded, and can make money from ad revenue, affiliate marketing, brand deals, and digital products, not just one. To emphasize how important this is, here's an example channel in that I started in a very bad niche. It started off pretty well. I started making some money, as you can see, hundreds of dollars a day, but then it died off pretty, pretty quickly, and now it's barely making any money from ad revenue. So here are some bad examples to avoid. This channel for example, is bad because it doesn't have any unique contents. It's probably not monetized by YouTube. It's not branded, so you can't tell the difference between this one or any other competitor channel in the same niche. And finally, because it's just posting rain sounds for people trying to sleep, you can't sell any products and sponsors would not want to pay for this. Here's another very popular but awful YouTube automation niche. Posting motivational speeches just means you're relying on someone else's content all the time and you're not providing any unique value to your audience. It's also very hard to build a brand and exit a channel like this. And here's another very bad channel, probably because now there's all of these TikTok influencers telling you you can just press one button and some magic AI software will then generate a video that will make you money on YouTube. But the truth is you can't earn money from these videos. I mean, would you watch something that is completely AI generated and doesn't provide any unique value? Probably not. Now let's take a look at some of the good YouTube automation examples. This channel is now making over $70,000 a month just from ad revenue, and that's for a reason. It has unique content, videos are edited very well, scripts are great, very well optimized, and it's only focusing on one specific niche. Channels that try to post a little bit about golfing, then a little bit about travel, will always struggle to build a loyal audience and will probably never make money. Here's another great example in the finance niche, which is probably the highest paid niche on YouTube. They are posting valuable content that a person looking to invest money will gladly watch and find helpful, and that's extremely powerful. They've built a brand that's now making over $1,000 a day, and they can exit this channel for at least a million dollars. With that in mind, let's talk about choosing the right niche, which is the most important initial step. Here's an example video I posted in the wrong niche. It got one million views and it made $2,000, which may not seem bad, but then here's a video I posted in the right niche and for the same effort and same views, I got paid $20,000, which is a massive difference. That's why you have to choose the right niche from the start. A YouTube niche is simply the main subject that your YouTube channel will create videos about. For example, if you want to create videos about tennis, rugby, or golf, you're going to go into the sports niche. If you want to post videos about castles, expensive cars, and watches, then 
you will go with the luxury niche. The number one reason why we actually need a niche when it comes to a YouTube automation channel and we don't just post any random video that we come up with is because we want to build a real audience, an audience that will watch all of those videos and make us money for watching them all. The reason this channel that you are watching right now is about to hit a million subscribers is, me, is because my audience knows that I will continuously deliver the highest quality online business trainings for completely free so they're willing to come back and watch again and again. And that's how you build a real channel. It's also a lot easier for the YouTube algorithm to categorize those videos and recommend them to the best people getting you free views. So you don't need a magic new AI tool to get views. You just need to stick to one audience and YouTube will give it to you for free. And as I previously shared, choosing the right niche will ensure you will get paid a lot more from YouTube AdSense. And YouTube AdSense is YouTube's partner program where advertisers are paying the platform to put ads on top of the videos before the videos or at the end of the videos. And once you get to 500 subscribers and 3000 hours of watch time within 12 months, you can apply for the partner program where YouTube will give you 55% cut of the revenue. You will hear me talk a lot about the CPM and RPM, so here's what that actually means. So you can figure out your YouTube channel's AdSense revenue by looking at the RPM or revenue per meal. This is roughly how much you get paid for every 1,000 views on your channel. That's 55% of the CPM in most cases or cost per meal, which is exactly how much advertisers are paying you for the same 1,000 views. And if you're wondering, but Dave, what on earth this now has to do with me choosing the right niche? Well, advertisers will not pay the same amount of money to advertise in front of 1,009 year olds as they would pay to advertise in front of 1,000 people working on Wall Street. If you have a channel in a niche about luxury events, finance, or real estate, for example, most likely your viewers are going to be highly educated, wealthy people who are most likely looking to buy or invest their money. Money. So then advertisers would be more likely to put ads and pay a higher amount of money to show ads in front of those people because they know that the chance of them converting is much higher than if they would to pay for ads in front of nine-year-old kids. At the end of the day, the goal is to focus on high quality topics to attract audience that advertisers and sponsors would consider highly valuable. And now that we understand that, let's talk about how to actually choose the right niche. Well, you can quite honestly pick absolutely any niche by just asking yourself yourself these five questions. Number one, is this something that can continue to make me over $10,000 a month for years to come or is it just temporary hype? Because for example, crypto and NFTs were a very hot topic in 2021 and 2022 and people who made videos about it back then got a lot of views, but since the hype died off, their channels are now earning $0. On the flip side, some things that will always stay and never go away are sports, luxury homes, travel, business, history, politics, etc. Number two, is this a niche where I can quickly get to $10,000 a month? The best way you can test this is by doing a research and finding at least a few channels in that niche that are making beyond $10,000 a month. Number three, is this niche oversaturated with competition? You see, competition is good because if there's already content in that niche, that it means it's possible to make money. But you don't want to go with something that's overly saturated like fitness and weight loss. So you can open this free tool called vidIQ, search for a keyword you had in mind, and then the overall score will tell you if people are searching for this keyword and if there's competition in it. Number four, do I know something about this topic? This is an optional one, but being at least a little bit interested in the topic will allow you to properly judge your own content, do better research, make better videos, and also it will be more fun to stay in this business because honestly YouTube takes time and patience and if you're focusing on what you actually love it's gonna be much easier to stay consistent and number five are there any good products I could promote to this audience to make more money beyond just ad revenue if you make motivational speech compilation videos is there any product that a viewer would genuinely buy for more than $20 probably not if you make videos that show people where to invest a thousand dollars then you can potentially 
actually sell a high ticket offer to those people because they know you know that they at least have a thousand dollars to invest. And using this framework and answering these five questions can help you decide your niche. From my personal experience, the best ones are planes, real estate, luxury travel, investing, sports, expensive cars, vetting and events planning, and business. Those are just a few of my recommendations, but you can of course go there and choose absolutely anything else. So remember to just keep it simple and remember that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can go with something that is already successful and it worked for other people, but it's just not way too competitive again, like fitness or weight. Now, once you've decided on your niche, the next step is to go out there and set up your channel. Just go to youtube.com, sign up using your Google account and put in some personal details. Once you create your YouTube channel, you'll need to choose a profile picture and a channel banner. You can do this for completely free with a tool like Canva. Just sign up, search for logo templates, find the one you like and customize it. Then for the banner, just search YouTube banners, find a template, customize and download. And lastly, we have the about section of your YouTube channel. I like to keep this one simple and just enter some of the most relevant keywords related to my niche. For this, you can just go to ChatGPT and ask it to write a short YouTube channel description, including the relevant keyword for the investing niche, for example. The next step is actually creating your faceless YouTube videos. If you want to do faceless YouTube, then you can mostly create the content yourself. But if you want to do real YouTube automation and you don't want to spend hours every day creating content, then you can build your own team and create automation systems. And setting up the right automation systems is exactly what separates channels that get to $10,000 a month in the first 90 days and channels that never make any money. So building the right team will ensure that you always have great evergreen content that can continue to make money for years to come. Like this video that was posted three years ago is still generating thousands of dollars just from ad revenue. Now, as we previously said, there are five content elements when it comes to YouTube automation. Number one is research and idea. Number two is script writing. Number three is voiceover. Number four is video editing. And number five is the video thumbnail. So let's begin with the step number one, which is video idea. Finding the right video idea will ensure that everything else that comes after it will be successful. If you're just starting out, I recommend simply creating a list of 10 channels in your niche that are already successful and then opening their latest 30 videos. You want to compare views on the latest content and see if there is any video that's seemingly performing better than all the other ones. You would then just borrow the idea and make the video better than them without stealing it word for word and without just copy pasting their title. The goal here is to see what the audience in that niche is mostly interested in and then making an even better video because it's proven to work. You can also find ideas from Google News, Google Trends, Reddit, or Twitter, depending on your niche. Step number two is writing the script for your YouTube videos. You can of course do this yourself, but to really turn this into a proper YouTube automation business, you would have to outsource it. By the time I'm recording this video, you can get a very high quality script for 10 up to $20. And I recommend avoiding freelancing platforms like Fiverr for finding script writers because most of them will just generate the script with ChatGPT. Instead, go to Upwork.com, create a client account for free, and you can post something like this. Once you have the script, the next Next step is the voiceover. You see, anywhere from 2019 all the way to 2022, I was spending between $1,000 and $2,000 a month for voiceovers per one channel. So they were ridiculously expensive. But now that we had this massive boom in AI, there's some insanely good AI tools that honestly make me feel stupid paying for voiceovers. So literally all my channels are AI voices now. The tool I use is 11 Labs, and even though it's not free, it's way cheaper and faster than paying an actual voiceover artist because if the voiceover artist is sick or they quit, your entire business fails. For the record, I'm not sponsored by 11 Labs. I genuinely just love using the tool, but if I ever come across a better one or I see a better tool that works a lot better, I will just update the description of this video. Now, to generate the voiceover in 11 Labs, you would have to go to speech synthesis and pick the right voice first. You can pick the language, accent, tonality, gender, age, literally everything. If you're making creepy documentaries, you 
you would need less of a professional voice. If you're making luxury real estate reviews, then maybe go with a more serious one. You would then go to Voice Lab and paste parts of your script to generate the voiceover. Unfortunately, you can't just paste the entire script and at once, so the process usually takes like 5 to 10 minutes for you to scrape part by part. I've outsourced this to my VA, so now she just takes the script from the script writer, generates all the voiceovers, and puts them all together before sending it to the next person on our team. And that next person is video editor, because the next step is video editing. Video editing for faceless channels can consist of animations, stock footage, movie tracks, motion graphics, pictures, and other elements. You can find great video editors both in Fiverr and Upwork, and this will probably be the most expensive part of video production. It can cost anywhere from $40 and $200 per video depending on the quality you want. And lastly, we have YouTube thumbnails. These are small images you see on YouTube video before you decide to click on it. And this is a very important element because if you have a great script and great video editing but your thumbnail sucks, then no one will even know that your video is great. And there are five general rule of thumbs when it comes to creating a high quality YouTube thumbnail. Number one, keep it extremely simple so human eye can easily understand it. Try to evoke fear, curiosity, scarcity, or desire. Use only up to five words in the title if you use text. Number four, use bright colors. And number five, make sure the image is high quality because low quality image conveys that the entire video is then poorly done. You can create thumbnails for free in Canva or just outsource it to freelancers on Fiverr and Upwork. I pay maximum of $5 per thumbnail. And if you don't want to put together videos piece by piece, you can outsource it to the right agencies who can deliver high quality videos. You will just pay the price that's actually the same as if you were to put a video together by yourself and they will just deliver you the final product ready to be uploaded to you. You're just gonna be careful because 99% of the people selling done for you YouTube videos have never done it themselves and will actually deliver low quality videos that don't generate any ad revenue. So I will leave my best recommendation and agencies that I work with in the description below so you can get completely done for your content and just focus on growing your business. Now when it comes to actually making money from your faceless YouTube channel, there are a lot of different options, but we will be focusing on the four main ones. The first one is obviously YouTube AdSense. This means getting paid by YouTube itself for the views you're generating. This is the easiest option because you can make over $10,000 a month without even selling anything, without getting any clients, customers, and without having any products. Again, that's exactly how the channels that I was showing you at the beginning of this video are making money and are making tens of thousands of dollars a month, again, without me actually selling anything. But to be approved into the partner program, you would first need to meet the monetization requirements, which for most people means six to 12 months of hard work. And even then you may get rejected for whatever reason. So if you don't like to wait and you don't want to miss out on ad revenue for six to 12 months, you can get an instantly monetized channel by going over to dfydave.com slash monetization or by clicking the link from the description box below this video. And honestly, not getting an instantly monetized channel will be far more expensive because for months you will be wasting time, money, and energy on creating content that wouldn't earn any money. And you would most likely miss out on thousands of dollars that could have otherwise been yours if you were monetized from the start. So that's why I'm gonna leave that in the description box down below. Now, as I previously said, YouTube AdSense is just one of the ways that you can make money from your YouTube channel. And for me, that's just a bonus that I get at the end of the month. The real money is made from selling products and services. That's another advantage of choosing a high agency niche. So for the second revenue source, we have affiliate marketing, which is basically making money by promoting someone else's products and services. That way you don't need to create a website, build a product, deliver it, do customer support or anything like that. You can just put affiliate links in your description and mention it in your videos. Just think about exactly what would make sense for your audience to buy from you. If you're making top 10 travel videos, for example, then it makes sense to promote flight booking websites, for instance. You can also use Amazon Associate Program or just search for your niche in Google and then add affiliate programs. For example, search for travel affiliate programs and then choose the only free ones. Here's a channel that's doing faceless YouTube automation and it's getting between 30 and $40,000 a month just from recommending different products in their videos. However, I always recommend promoting digital products or even reoccurring programs because that way you can stack passive income. For example, I promoted this software as an affiliate two years ago and to this day, we're making over $7,000 a month in affiliate commissions. Most digital products and software don't have big overhead and inventory 
category and can give more than 50% commission compared to Amazon, for example, which relies on cheap physical products and gives up to 10% only in affiliate commissions. Besides affiliate marketing, you can also monetize your videos with brand deals and sponsorships. This is when you get paid in advance to promote a company or someone's brand. And I'm sure you've seen at least one of your favorite YouTubers say something like, this video was sponsored by, and then some company name. And you don't need to have a big channel to make money with brand deals because most companies first spend thousands of dollars to just produce the video ads, and then they spend tens of thousands of dollars, if not more, to just run those ads and first test them and whatnot. And here on YouTube, you would produce the video in which you mentioned their company, plus you would promote it to your loyal audience interested in that niche. So it's far more valuable than a random ad on their Facebook feed. A channel with less than 10,000 subscribers in a good niche can easily charge $2,000 per video. And I know many people with less than 100,000 subscribers who charge multiple five figures per video integration. To find and close brand deals, you can just have a business email in your about section, or you can find companies on LinkedIn and reach out to their marketing executives. You can just say something like this if you wish to copy and paste this message. But quite honestly, as soon as your channel starts growing a little bit, you will be the one bombarded with emails from companies all over the place who will find that email in the about section and then you will have to reject like 90% of them. For example, I reject at least six figures a month in brand deals because we simply can't fill so many spots and I have multiple brand deal managers who have hired to respond to those emails and close commission based. So we give them 20% of each deal they close and we still can't accept all of them. And just before we talk about how to actually get views and subscribers and how to grow your faceless YouTube automation channel, let's talk about the fourth way to make money, which is by selling digital products. Digital product can be anything from ebooks, PDF guides, audio files, all the way through online courses. This works best for business, finance, and investing niche, but can be good also for history and travel niche as well. For example, if I have a channel where we cover the history of business, I may attract people who already have or want to start their own business so I can promote pre-recorded business courses. This is the hardest monetization option, but I prefer it because it has almost 100% profit margins and it's extremely scalable. You just have to build a digital product once and you can sell it again and again for unlimited times. All right, but now how do you actually get views and subscribers fast for your YouTube channel? Well, there are a few timeless rules that will guaranteed continue to get you views and subscribers. Number one, because the hook and the watch time is extremely important for your YouTube videos, you can have multiple open loops in the intro when someone clicks on the video. So recently we've analyzed the viral video from one of the faceless channels and the video starts off with multiple information gaps. So this is the script from the video. So if you want, you can pause and you can analyze this yourself, but you can see that as soon as someone opens the video, they are presented with multiple information gaps and multiple open loops that make them watch video longer, which ultimately pushes the video into the YouTube algorithm. So if you wish, you can pause this. This is more advanced stuff for those of you who are already familiar with YouTube automation. If you're just starting out, then this might be a little bit confused. Number two, we have exceeding expectations. I personally always love to use this analogy, which is essentially if you were on a diet and you're trying to lose weight and you're counting every calorie you take and your friend comes in and he says, you know what? Here's a cookie for you. And this cookie only has 200 calories. And you're like, mm, this is great. So you eat the cookie. And he says, you know, that cookie actually had a thousand calories. Now you would feel awful and betrayed by that friend. You wouldn't trust them if they brought another cookie. But then on the flip side, imagine you're also counting calories, trying to lose weight. And then another friend comes in and says, hey, here's a cookie. This one has 200 calories. So you eat the cookie and then they say, you know, it only had like 50 calories or whatsoever. Then you would be happy because they exceeded your expectations and the clickbait works the same on YouTube. If you clickbait people constantly with your YouTube videos, then they're not going to trust and click anymore. So you always want to exceed their expectations with content that you provide them with. Number three, you want to utilize YouTube data. So to do this, you can go to your YouTube channel, then you can open up some of your latest videos that you published. You can go to video analytics. And if it's been enough time, you will be able to look at the engagement of the video. You will be able to look at the audience retention graph and see exactly how the video is performing and analyze where people are clicking off. So let's check for this video for example, we can see that whenever there's a huge gap here, that's exactly where people are clicking off. 
enough so I can start avoiding doing that thing that I did in this video to ensure that people don't click off in the next one and I can just repeat the process, repeat parts where people are more in engaged like this part over here. So your analytics are extremely valuable and you can honestly also check when your audience is mostly active so that you can post at that time. So the darker this part is, the more active your audience is at that time. So I usually publish at about 1 p.m. because apparently that's when most of you guys are active on YouTube. And again, if you don't want to go out there and hire an entire team to create faceless content for you and then set up all the automation systems around it, you can get completely done for you content by clicking the first link in the description box down below and you are allowed to fully monetize that content. So your job would be to just run the business. The content side is done for you. You will just have to focus on the vision, coming up with ideas and running the entire business and making money using all the four revenue sources that we talked about in this step-by-step -step tutorial. I hope this was valuable to you. If it was, make sure to drop a like and I will see you in some of the next tutorials.